Christianity included, has done nothing to advance humanity. Let's talk about why this is false. First, as I mentioned in my last video, Christianity is the reason that we have modern science. This is a well-recognized fact among historians and philosophers of science such as Herbert Butterfield, A.C. Crombie, Michael Foster, Lauren Isley, David Lindbergh, and Colin Russell, just to name a few. It is simply an undeniable fact that many of the founders of modern science were led to study the natural world because of their religious beliefs. Second, there is a wealth of evidence that religious belief has a positive effect of one's quality of life. Most, One of the most comprehensive resources on this is the second edition of of the Handbook of Religion and Health by Cohen, King, and Carson, in which the authors note that religious belief has a positive effect on marital stability, sense of purpose in life, and self-esteem. Similarly, in their paper, Religion, Social Networks, and Life Satisfaction, Lim and Putnam note that most of the studies on the connection between religion and subjective well-being show that the association is both positive and substantial. Third, a large number of social movements have been motivated by religious conviction, one of the most significant being the abolitionist movement. Fourth, it was Christianity that gave way to the creation of modern universities. Fifth, it was Christian monks who preserved many of the literary works of ancient history. David Lindbergh's book on the history of Western science discusses both four and five at length. Sixth, Christian missionaries opened up whole new areas of scholarship in both linguistic studies and in anthropology. They went to foreign countries, learned the language while ministering to them, and then wrote books to educate others on their language and culture. For more information on this, see Andrew Wall's work, The Missionary Movement in Christian History. Seventh, during the 19th century, many Christians looked at Christ's work of healing the sick and took it upon themselves to continue in that line of work. This led to, led to a large number of medical professionals from the West going into parts of the world that didn't have access to modern medicine and opening up free clinics. Again, see Andrew Walls' work on this for more details. I could go on, but at this point it is pertinent to point out that the most significant thing that Christianity has contributed towards the world is a way for man to be reconciled to God. And it is at this point that I will note that the clip that inspired this video is one which is assumes that all religions are false. Not only that, but it asserts without any form of evidence that all religious beliefs have been malicious, maliciously concocted to control people. Not only has this been asserted with no evidence, it is also patently false. When one looks at world history, belief in the supernatural is almost always rooted in rationality, as we can see in the works of philosophers like Plato and Aristotle, or in religious experience, as we can see in the works of the New Testament. Quite often, it's both. The strong majority of New Testament scholars, including those who are not Christians themselves, recognize that the early proclaimers of the Christian faith had the sincere belief that Christ rose from the dead. To com claim that they simply invented it for some ulterior purpose is co to completely isolate yourself from almost all scholarship in this area. area. Gary Habermas, Mike Lacona, and William Lane Craig have pu published academic work uh, specifically on this topic. I will conclude this video by noting that this video has contained many specific claims to which I provide academic references for. Have you done the same?